Hey guys, in this video I'm going to make a full review comparison between the iPhone 6 uh, versus the uh, Samsung Galaxy A5. So uh, I'll be done a camera test um, comparison. You can check my channel out uh, between these two devices. Uh, some video tests and some uh, uh, samples, pic samples and all that. So um, let's start off uh, this comparison here. So uh, this is, uh, you know, size-wise you can see both looks identical here but this one is a little bit bigger this has a 5 inch screen uh, this is 720p HD so screen wise this is sharper than the iPhone screen but this is a retina display has its own goodness has a better brightness or you can say more brightness but this is not a bad display AMOLED HD and uh, really awesome looks like a mini Note 4 so uh, if you talk about the build quality which is the main main clash between these two devices so the Galaxy A5 will cost you about like 400 something dollars uh, 440 dollars to be accurate um, at least in my country while the iPhone 6 will going to cost you uh, around uh, 700 above dollars I'm pretty sure 750 above dollars in my country so uh, you can see that it almost has uh, almost almost uh, half the price so, uh, but it also comes with all the great stuff that iPhone has. It has a metal frame and a full aluminum body, so zero plastic has been used. So this is really amazing because you get a very, uh, very great premium design device, having premium um, things used. You can see aluminum back and metallic frame, and very easy to hold. And uh, the device won't gonna slip out of your hand easily while the iPhone 6 we talk about its design it is also not that bad some people were having bend -ish bending issues uh, but my iPhone was perfectly fine uh, of course iPhone is luxurious you all know that that's why they price it at higher point but uh, but of course uh, price wise if we see the build quality the Galaxy A5 is giving us the same kind of uh, material in a good price so that is a good thing now if we talk about the software of course Android versus iOS this is 8.1.3 the latest update I done a review you can check my channel out uh, while well, this one is Android version 4.4.4 if I go here into the settings then about device this is running Android version 4.4.4 and uh, of course this is iOS 8.1.3 very fast so um, of course if you are an Android fan you will like this one more and if you are an iOS fan then you will like this one more so it's just personal preference iOS is more cleaner um, more uh, less bloatware here the, the bloatware is available here but not available here it is just clean and simple and uh, of course you can see we have this notification area you can also add some, uh, um, you can say, uh, some more custom keyboards and other stuff that is included in the iOS 8 update. Also have this uh, control center, uh, which is really great. Um, also same as here, we have the notification area on the top, having our control type center. You can say uh, quick settings on the top, and you can also, also access to more quick settings if you want to on the top. And... Uh, extremely fast this one is no doubt really really fast uh, but I will be doing a quick app opening speed test between these two devices to check out the really uh, who, who is really faster than um, the each other of course over each other uh, well if we talk about the general usage both are fast there's no problem whatsoever with the A5 so processor wise this one is still running a mid-ranger uh, mid-range processor which is, which could be a deal breaker for most of you guys who are looking for a premium phone to buy so of course this is giving you a premium design and a premium material that the iPhone 6 has uh, but definitely it is not giving you uh, that the same processor um, so it has a Apple and uh, this one has an Apple A8 processor which is a dual core chipset um, also it, it is coming with a 1 GB of RAM so pretty well optimized 1 GB of RAM so you won't gonna see any problem whatsoever uh, but this one is coming with a Qualcomm 410 which is a 64-bit quad-core 1.2 gigahertz processor and you run through a 6 GPU I will test a gaming test and a quick gaming review of this device Galaxy A5 check out my channel for its gaming performance but anyways if we talk about uh, the comparison with the A8 this is not the processor that 
you are looking for in terms of performance. It will give you a good battery. I've noticed that the battery, uh, battery life is uh, really good uh, as uh, if we compare it with the uh, devices like Galaxy Grand Prime like I've used before. I've done a ton of videos on. You can search uh, for that on YouTube. Uh, but this one is a little bit more better than that phone. And definitely if we compare it with the A8, A8 is faster, has a better benchmark score, has a better GPU and uh, it has a score almost close to Note 4, Snapdragon 805, so definitely I can't really compare it in terms of uh, their internal things. Um, but anyways, uh, if the processor performance is not, uh, you know, um, not the main thing that you're looking for, uh, the build quality is the main thing that you're looking for, then this one might be the uh, better choice. Uh, and also if you're uh, going for a budget price, if you have like a lot of money, you can buy a phone, this one, that will save a lot of money for you and you can use that money to some other uh, right, right place or on other right things if you want to. So uh, camera wise, if we talk about the camera, let's flip both phones over here. So uh, this one is 8 megapixel, this is a 13 megapixel, so its quality is uh, kind of like a Galaxy S4. Uh, I hardly done a video about that, check out my channel. So this one is having an 8 megapixel camera, this one is having a 13 megapixel camera. But it doesn't matter, the iPhone 6 has a better, um, you can say, a uh, better sensor, has a bigger sensor so that more light comes in and also has a better focus and all that. Uh, take, uh, take a lot of good photos, so definitely iPhone 6 has a, uh, you can say, 8 megapixel um, full power camera. Uh, it's not about megapixels, it's about the sensors, the sensor is better here. Well, this one has more me megapixel, uh, but that don't really matter. So, uh, if we talk about the, you can say, front camera, which is, I'm really, really impressed by this device, so this one and the A3 are kind of like a selfie phone. Uh, this one is coming with a 5 megapixel camera on the front which can even record a 1080p HD video. Well, I'm not sure if the iPhone's front facing camera is capable of that but I'm pretty sure that it can record a 720p video. So let's quickly go here into the camera here to the front facing camera app. Okay, you can see pretty fast device. Let's uh, open up the camera here. Okay, now you can see that we have uh, good features here on the Galaxy uh, A5, like palm selfie. You can show your hand to your uh, device, and it will going to capture the photo immediately. You can see that. So basically, it works uh, well when you are actually taking a selfie, like holding like this. Um, so this really uh, works great. But anyways, this is uh, uh, not available on the iPhone. So iPhone has a more cleaner camera app. Um, you can see that very few features available in focusing camera, photo, video, um, slow-mo. If you switch on the slow-mo, it just quickly switch to the back camera. So, of course, you can't record a slow motion video using the front facing camera. But anyways, iPhone 6, you can immediately capture as much footage as you want. You can see pretty fast there. And you can see it does take a little bit of time there. It's not that fast. You can see it just takes some time to process, but the image quality is better here. Um, I've done a full camera review, uh, back and front, in terms of photos and all that picture quality, so you can check that out on my channel. So anyways, if we do talk about the features there, so this comes with more features. If we go here into this button, you can see a lot, a lot of features there to choose from, ISO, and a lot, a lot of control options. Uh, While well, if we switch, uh, there are no more options there, so let's switch to the back camera on both of the devices. So same uh, uh, options there, we have modes to choose from, you can also quickly test your focus anywhere. Uh, then also on the iPhone 6, the one thing that I like is that you can focus and you can increase the um, brightness and all exposure, which is really great. Then we do come, uh, then the iPhone 6 does comes with the uh, 1080p video recording at uh, the 30fps. You can also record a slow motion video at 240fps 
uh, or at 120 FPS if you want to, time lapse video. So definitely video quality wise, iPhone 6 has an edge. Uh, video future features wise, well this one can only record a 1080p HD video, no slow motion video, no fast motion video, um, which is really not good. So they should have included that. But anyways, uh, we have normal video uh, editing options. Uh, you can see recording mode, normal for normal or limit for MMS. We have some exposure value option. Uh, we have some normal options, nothing that much uh, good. So it also has these modes here. You can also download some modes if they are available for this device. You can touch to focus anywhere. Same feature here on the iPhone 6. Really no difference there, but definitely iPhone 6 has an edge uh, if you talk about uh, the back camera, but this one has a better front camera. I already mentioned that uh, on the note for comparison that this one has an extremely great front camera. I'm really satisfied and all that. So and this also comes with the themes. If we hold down the home screen, uh, there's also a fourth button that Samsung included with this 4.4.4 KitKat. Uh, now we have five themes. I'm not sure if you can download from the Galaxy Store. I haven't signed in at the moment, but uh, you can have different themes if you want to. You can apply different themes. But of course, on iPhone, you have to jailbreak in order to have themes. So I might jailbreak it and make some videos about themes and all that. Uh, but uh, so both are really great devices. Uh, both are extremely light devices. Uh, there's no problem whatsoever uh, holding the, these devices comfortably. Both, uh, you know, just adjust well in the hand. Both have the power button at almost at uh, the same point uh, on the right side and on the left side we have the volume rocker so the iPhone has two dedicated buttons for the volume then this silent button there and on the top we have nothing on both of the devices and on the bottom we have the charging and the 3.5mm headphone jack on both of them and also we have the speaker so uh, design wise I think it's kinda like based on the iPhone 6 in terms of the things positioned uh, also on this side on the below the power button, we have the SIM card and the uh, micro SD card slots. This is dual SIM device that is also etched there, and a micro SD card can be put inside, so you can expand the storage. 16 GB is the internal one, while this one is also has 16 GB, but you can get 32 or 64. But that will cost a lot of dollars, uh, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, if we talk about uh, the RAM, this one is coming with a 2 GB of RAM has a little bit edge but of course it's Android so it, it will eat more RAM this one has more optimized so of course you can see that below the power button we do have the SIM card tray so you can see they are kinda like same um, based like A5 is, might be based on the iPhone 6 in terms of the elements positioned I'm not sure but they are exactly the same but anyways a really great device to get uh, I'm really enjoying battery life is amazing uh, iPhone 6 uh, battery life is not that much up to the mark because it is a very high-end device a device and I should have to compare it with high-end devices like Note 4 so it doesn't come with that much of a good battery it has a uh, not that much of a good battery time almost like one day or so well this one can give you a one day plus on a normal music and normal Wi-Fi usage, of course, if you do gaming, then this will also not going to last that much uh, time. So, both are very slim devices. iPhone seems to be more slimmer, but this one more squarish type. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to have some, uh, if you want to ask some specific questions. Do let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll be doing some more tests like app opening to test out the speed. Uh, I think you are interested in that video, so I will do that. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next one. Peace out.